Praise the Lord, church. How many know that he is worthy? He is worthy to be praised as we are in this last day of 2017. We can praise God for he is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our honor. There's a spirit of worship in this place. Amen. There's a spirit of grace in this place. There is a spirit of love in this place. As we move forward in worship, I thank God for allowing me to wake up on this morning. I thank God for my leadership and that of Pastor C and Lady Detra and for the opportunity to come on this last day to break the bread of life. I do not take for granted that I am standing behind this holy desk. The leadership that you have provided in the short time that you have been here has been mind blowing. And it is truly taking Union Bethel to higher heights in Jesus. I thank God for my spiritual parents, Bishop Seawright, Episcopal Supervisor Seawright, for everyone under the sound of my voice, those that are streaming, the ushers, the musicians, to Judah Praise, and to my family in their absence. The ministerial staff has been charged on today to look at our theme, to look at Ephesians 2 and 10, and to talk to what we have discovered in 2017. So I will read the scripture in your hearing. We will bow in a word of prayer, and then we will go into talking about what have you discovered. The scripture reading is as follows, from the New Revised Standard Version. Ephesians 2, chapter, verse 10. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. Let us bow in a word of prayer over the sermon topic, what have you discovered? Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we just come before you right now, God. We come before you thanking you for your presence that has been in our lives over these last 365 days as we close out the year of 2017. We come before you, God, just seeking your face and asking that you continue to guide us and show us how we are to proceed in our day-to-day -day living. God, we thank you for our Union Bethel family, but most importantly, we thank you, God, for the relationship that we have with you, your son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. As we go forth in worship, God, I just ask that you decrease Kim and increase the Holy Spirit so that we, can be, we will be able to hear what thus saith the Lord God. There may be someone under the sound of my voice, God, that they need to join a church home because they've been away for so long. There may be someone, God, that just does not know Christ and they need to come forth at the appointed time to give their hand and their life over to Christ. And God, we just know by faith that that is something that can be done. There may be someone that needs to recommit their faith, God. We thank you for allowing that being able to be done. But God, there just may be someone that just needs to have a little prayer and a little talk with you. So we just thank you for pricking our hearts, leading, guiding, and showing us how to proceed as we deposit the word into the atmosphere. We just love, honor, and adore you. We thank you for continuing to touch our leadership, touch Pastor C, touch Lady Detra, touch everyone under the sound of my voice, as we celebrate you, we celebrate your son, Jesus. We celebrate closing out 2017 and going into 2018. We just love, honor, and adore you. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. As we are winding down 2017, 
and getting ready to enter into the year of 2018, there's still a little bit of time to reflect, for analysis, for a small discussion to occur on what we have discovered in this year of discovery, where Union Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church here in the Temple Hills location and also in the Brandywine location has worked all throughout the year to gain a better understanding of who we are in Christ, who we are in the church as believers, and who the Union Bethel Church family is in the culture and in the community inside and outside of the four walls of the church. As we conduct this reflection, for each person that is willing to participate, please recognize some of the answers to the question, what have you discovered? In this year of discovery, may be different in some cases, and yet similar in other instances. Another word for discovery is to uncover, to detect, to encounter, to explore, to reveal, to authenticate, to learn, to sense, to verify, or to locate. When we look through our sanctified lens of discovery, what do we see? Do we see wholeness, deliverance, prosperity, and grace? Or are we walking in the obstacles of the past, which has our sanctified lens of discovery a little tarnished. So our minds are shackled and not being able to move into the promises of tomorrow. Since all we are walking and seeing things through is a lens of brokenness, a lens of escape, a lens of defeat, and a lens of insignificance. As we walk down the memory lane of what we have discovered, on this final day of 2017, can you relate to seeing yourself, your household, your church, your career, your business, your healing, your thought process, your relationship with Jesus Christ, your relationship with your family, your interaction with your coworkers, your relationship with your community within the church, with your pastor, your first lady, your brothers and sisters in Christ, through the microscopic view of support, courage, unconditional love, increased revelation, and progress rather than through the defeated stance of discouragement, fear, ill will, disgust, and retreat. On this final day of this year of discovery, as we all ponder the question, what have you discovered in 2017? Let us pause for the next few moments and get a better understanding of what the word discovery means in the context of how it is applied through Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. This is made up of one sentence, which contains 22 words, but it has had a mighty impact on this year of discovery, this year of reflection that we have been conducting in Union Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church. The word states, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. The first thing I want to point out as we answer the question, what have you discovered in 2017? for who we are in Christ, who we are in church, as believers and in the Union Bethel Church family, as in the culture and the community inside and outside of the four walls of the church, is that we are his workmanship. 
which is stated in the first part of verse 10. In other words, we are his making. We are his creation. We have all been created and formed, not in a general sense, but in a specific sense which denotes, which signifies that we are formed in Christ in such a significant way that each one of us is priceless. Each one of us is unique. Each one of us is a workmanship, an epic poem that contains an existence that is meaningful and bigger than anything that we can comprehend or even imagine. There are some verses to our epic poem that because we have a larger than life personal connection with God, his revelations will only be shown to you. While in other instances, the verses of our epic poem for our lives is not kept hidden, but it is relayed in a manner so that our inner circle and our confidants, our friends, our church family are able to confirm the private intimate moments we have had with God because we are his workmanship. Each one of us on this final day of 2017 can reflect on things throughout the year that revealed the masterful creativity of God's workmanship as some have had to navigate through sickness, like chemotherapy, like heart attacks, like quadruple bypass, like surgery, lupus, arthritis, bone disease, car accidents, hysterectomies, and various other types of illness. We must remember that we are still God's workmanship, who are strong and courageous, and yet we still are standing. There may be others that have had to also travel down the path of ending the year of discovery in 2017 by gaining a better understanding of discovery just on how strong, much stronger their faith has had to increase as they have had to lean on the comfort of the Lord's loving embrace because that loved one that is near and dear to them is no longer here on this final day of 2017, but they have gone on to glory. Those that are left behind are still walking in their workmanship for God. They are still being strong and courageous and saying by my witness, for God I will live and for God I will die. Yet, there are still others of us that have shown the workmanship of God as we have embraced and adjusted to the change in leadership to Pastor C and Lady Detra as Bishop C. Wright and Supervisor C. Wright were elevated to the Episcopal leadership of the 9th Episcopal District in Birmingham, Alabama. Because we are a part of God's workmanship in the closeout of this year of discovery, we can walk in the perceived power of God. And know that as we answer the question, what have we discovered in 2017 of who we are in Christ, who we are in the church as believers, and who the Union Bethel Church family is in the culture and of the community inside and outside the four walls of the church, is that we are justified people of God's workmanship, whose grace and salvation is a gift to us. And our lives must be an illustration that salutes the workmanship and the commandments of how we must walk in the ways of God. We must walk in the ways of being open to change and being stretched by our faith when the things and ways of operating have been adjusted so we are able to be taken to higher heights in Jesus Christ. When we embrace our workmanship in Christ, we can do things like totally transform the dynamic of an event of a building project or transform an encounter with someone that has possibly lost their way. 
But because of our example, because of our workmanship, the epic poem of our lives is speaking volumes and our thoughts, our words, and our deeds is creating an environment where in the words of Bishop Harry L. Seawright is encouraging, enabling, and empowering all that we come into contact with. When our workmanship encourages and walks in the commandments of God, we pick up and we teeter right on the edge of my second point, which is we are created in Christ Jesus for good works. In other words, all of us that belong to God because of the relationship we have with, the, with his son Jesus Christ should embrace that we are created anew by his spirit and we are enabled by virtue of that new creation to perform good works. But we must recognize as we continue to ponder the question, what have you discovered in 2017 that the good works is not one-sided. It is in fact twofold. In one instance, you have the inward appearance of good works in which the love of God has pricked our hearts to show reverence to him so that our outward actions of how we are interfacing with our fellow man, with our fellow woman, and with our fellow child are also outward acts of grace that visibly displays through our relationship to God who is righteous that we are doing things and performing good works in an honest manner that is lawful, that is just, that is charitable, that is based on a spirit of excellence, based on integrity of the heart, and also based on the principle of humility. In every good and righteous act, as we perform our good works, we must also do so in a submissive manner to God that helps to quantify and distinguish the qualification and characteristics of God's good works. The characteristics of power in which the good works is accomplished stems from the date and destination of our new birth in Jesus Christ. When we gave our lives over to him and became born again. We gave our lives over to him. Our good works ties directly to the light of Christ and our relationship that is derived from the power that is created in being a child of the most high God. As we are pondering the question of what we have discovered in 2017, before we cross over into 2018, if you have not taken the faith walk to give your life over to Jesus Christ so you can perform good works, I strongly encourage you at the appointed time to come forward, give your life over to Christ, and proceed with the expectation of life altering experiences that will encourage you and embrace the new verse that will be included in the epic poem of your life. As we close out this reflection on what we have learned in this year of discovery, while we have embraced God's workmanship and gleaned better understanding to being created in Christ Jesus for his good works, we also do not want to forget my third and final point, which is God prepared us beforehand. God has predestined, he has appointed beforehand, he has mapped out the blueprint for our lives. He has provided the ultimate epic poem for our lives. So before we had our first conversation, God already had our spiritual career mapped out. Isn't it wonderful that since God has prepared us beforehand, we have the responsibility to embrace his will for us and then obey it? In this year of discovery, as we answer the question, what have you discovered in 2017? for who we are in Christ, who we are in the church as believers, who we are as Union Bethel family in the culture inside and outside of the four walls of the church, because of the, prep the preparation by God, we do not have to work out our plans for our lives, but only accept the plan which God has drawn up for us. This delivers us from fret and frenzy and it ensures that our lives will be of maximum glory to him, a blessing to others, 
and of a great reward to ourselves. So as we close out this reflection on the response to the question, what have you discovered in 2017? My prayer is as we enter into 2018, we will not forget that we are God's workmanship. We were created in Christ for good works and God has prepared us beforehand to complete his good works. Is there anyone ready to carry your discoveries from 2017 and go into 2018 and add additional pages to the epic poem that has been written over all of our lives? Do I have any Jeremiah 29 and 11 saints in the house that knows that God knows the plans he has for you, declares the Lord? Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Maybe there's a Hebrews 11 and 1 saint that is willing to stand and declare for faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. But, you know, maybe that doesn't pertain to you. Maybe there needs to be a friendly reminder to someone that Psalm 139, 13 through 16, says that God formed your inward parts. He covered you in your mother's womb. You will praise him, for you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are his works, and that your soul knows very well. Your frame was not hidden from him when you were made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest part of the earth, parts of the earth. God's eyes saw your substance being yet unformed. And is his, in his book they all were written, the days fashioned for you when as yet there were none of them. So as the remainder of us that are here under the sound of my voice, as we stand on our feet and come to the close of this year of discovery. Let us embrace all that we have learned, all that we have yet to achieve, and the higher heights in Jesus that we aspire to move forward to. For as we enter into 2018, we will continue to look up, press forward, and trust God so we can expect the impossible, achieve the unthinkable, and receive the unimaginable. Amen. Happy New Year's, Union Bethel. God bless you. And my prayer is now that you have the answers you will continue to discover in 2018. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. Uh, Pastor C said it's okay to proceed and open the doors of the church. God is really amazing. Amen. You know, there's, there's, there's individuals that have been going through a whole series of discovery of themselves throughout this year. And you've been cautious in your faith on how to proceed because we've been looking to the left, we've been looking to the right, instead of looking straight to him. So as we are closing down this year of discovery, trust God. Amen. Trust the new beginnings that he has for you. Trust even as you're going through the circumstances of life that he has you in the palm of his hands. Move forward with courage. Move forward with boldness. Pray without ceasing. Mold up those relationships and harness those relationships so that you are connecting one to another. We are our brothers and our sisters keepers. The doors of the church are open. How did you do that? There's someone that you've never given your hand over to God. Now is an opportunity to be able to do so. There may be someone that you've been away from the church for a little while. And you just need to reconnect. Union Bethel Brandy, uh, Temple Hills is a wonderful place to reconnect back with God and join the church. 
There may be someone that has joined the church, but you just need to recommit your faith to him. The church is open to do so. Praise God for you, for your families, and I wish you a happy new year. You may be seated. Made a way When our backs were When our backs were against the wall And in the dash It was all on you You made a way You made a way mm -hmm. And we're standing here Only because you made And we're standing here And we're standing here because you made and we're standing and we're standing here only because you made a way oh, you made a way how many don't of you get that how many of you that's your testimony you i don't know how but you made did made a way don't know how but you did you made a Yeah. <laughs> I like when she said, no matter what you've been through, Amen. you are still God's workmanship. Amen. Yeah. And, and that just, you know, it, you, you know, you hear something and then you hear it differently one day. Right. And it's like, okay, so no matter what I went through, you still designed me. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And, and just because I might have had some flaws, right. you didn't give up the rights to me. You're still my designer. Yeah. And guess what? When, when, when I'm broke, I can go back to the manufacturer. <laughs> Amen. I like that. That, that. That's what I was getting out of that. I, that was blessing my spirit. Because then I thought about, you know, when you look back over the year, realize, mm, uh, didn't do this too good. Did, didn't, did, get, didn't did get this right. And didn't do this just right. And boy, this didn't work out just right. But I was still designed. By God, Amen. isn't that wonderful? Yes. Uh, so that's so appropriate. I, uh, that's all I can say is what you, you, what made of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You. Just before we get ready to receive the offering, there's still something I want to show you, and uh, I, have, I have a couple of videos, but I didn't want to put them all in last Sunday. You can be seated. You can be seated. Stewart, Stewart, just hang on right there. Uh, there's just it's real quick, so y'all hang on and then you come right up. But I wanted to show you something. You can just keep playing that, but Chris, to to show you how much of a difference you make in so many people's lives. So, Jason, whenever y'all are ready, come on. Whenever y'all are ready, um, y'all go ahead and roll it. Amen. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and roll. Man, just wanted to show you this. It's a real short clip. It's not like the one from last Sunday, but this is from the Kua Kenya, and this is a, a well wish from the church to us here. All right, here you go. I'll give you 20, 30 seconds, that's all. Okay. So let me know when you're ready. ready yes, I'm good. You're on. Yes. All right. I am here with the YPD at Bethel AME Church in the Guru. And we are saying uh, Jumbo. 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 That means hello and Swahili to all the YPDers at Union Bethel AME yeah. Church Brandywine. Can you say hello to Union Bethel? Hello. Union Bethel. Right, and how do we say thank you in Swahili to the people? Asante. All right, Asante Sana for all of the gifts that you have said. Thank you so much. This is Pastor C. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I just wanted to show you that's a thank you clip and turn our lights on. That's just a thank you. And we had just given out a big bag of jump ropes. And they started opening up the jump ropes and started jumping, you know, right there. And uh, uh, we sent, we took a lot of the Bika uh, curriculum books and coloring books and all that. So we had just given out 
all of that to the kids. And uh, Brother Rockstar, you know that feeling. Amen. Because he's, he's been to Kenya quite a few times. We had just given them out to the kids. And so I, you know, impromptu, I was like, okay, let's do a video. <laughs> you know, and the video last Sunday and this Sunday, all that straight from my iPhone. That, you know, ain't, no, like, ain't got no, like no cameras over there, uh, just iPhones. So I wanted you to see uh, the little that you think you do, but it changes somebody's world. Amen. And those kids were so happy just to receive coloring books and pencils and jump ropes and all of that. And that's because you provided that. And so I didn't want you to get through the year without hearing them say to you, thank you. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's get ready to receive our gifts now. I ask our stewards to come. And uh, let's stand with our offering in our hand. Uh, those of you who, are, who give electronically. Uh, we are moving to a new system called Realm, and many of you have begun to move that way. Thank you so much for that. Uh, those of you who got my message last night, um, I went on ahead and gave my tithe because then I realized, no, I want this in in 2017 so I can get the blessing in 2018. Amen. So I want to get it in. So I did it electronically in Realm, and, and many of us have begun to set up recurring giving, so it just happens automatically. Now, if you have your debit card, your credit card, preferably your debit card, in the back uh, right corner of the church, your right, my left, there is a debit terminal, and you can execute your transaction there. Don't forget what we ask you for, your new season, tithes offering, new season, and Christmas offerings. Many of you, if you're still catching up with that, I believe there's still special envelopes. If not, you just put on it Christmas offering to make sure that it gets in. Because how many of you want to see God's blessing even more in 2018? Amen. Amen. So let's get some seed in the ground. This is the last Sunday. Everything you're going to do that's going to be counted, we are a tax deductible organization. That's the practical side of it. Everything that you're doing will be counted for your taxes this year has to be done by midnight. Or at least we need to receive it dated the 31st. All right, so if you've already sent some in the mail, if it's postmarked the 31st, it will count toward 2017. Amen? All right, let's take that gift. Some of us hold up our phones because we give by app. All right, Father, we thank you for seed to sow. and We won't be unwise farmers and eat all of our seed. But we bring you that which belongs to you, not just because you said bring it, but because we love you. Ten percent belongs to you, and we ask that you would bless the tithers, and we thank you for that. For those who are working on becoming full tithers, pray that you would just keep and direct and bless them uh, as they're moving in faith and grace giving. Then, God, we pray, uh, thank you for those who are sowing new seeds and Christmas offerings and other things that they pledge to give to the work of God. Bless the seed and the sower the gift and the giver. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Ushers will direct you down the center aisle. If you have a merchant terminal gift, go ahead to the back table and give that now. All things come of thee. Amen. Bless the Lord. Well, be blessed. How many of you are getting your black eyed peas ready? I just want to I just want to know if I had the, I was at the right church. Amen. 
Amen. You know, the word of the Lord keeps us, but we have some traditions we believe in. Amen. It's going to be a blessed year, so we thank God for that. Look to see you tonight for watch night, 7.30 to 9, uh, probably even earlier than that here, and we'll ring the new year here in, start the year off in church. Amen. I think it'll make a difference in your 2018. Amen. Amen. And uh, don't forget, Bible study doesn't start until the 9th, so we're off this week, and then we start on the 9th and 10th, and we're studying the book of Joel in the month of January. Amen. All right, Reverend Kim, come on and give us the benediction. Thank you for the word. Amen. In Jesus' name. Okay. okay. Amen. Let us look to the Lord. Now unto him who was able to keep all of us in here from stumbling and to present us faultless before his great with exceeding joy to God our Savior who alone is wise be honor, glory, dominion, and power. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. 